driving a ground vehicle in space and go. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and yes you too, my all time favorite, the children of the corn. This is your light skin simmer, Ajax87, and today I'll be doing something a little different, something I haven't done before today. And as you can tell, I'm not in my normal location, I'm in the Crusader area, but worry not, I'm not doing anything in the Crusader area, at least not at this very moment, but I will later on. So. Let's get into today's work cycle, or I guess jobs. What am I going to be doing today? Well, today I'm going to be, as you can see, doing a salvaging contract. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to take us to the Arcor region. I don't know why that took off weird like that. Oh my gosh, why am I going in reverse? Oh my gosh. Oh Jesus, what's happening? Okay, we good. We saved it. Alright, sweet. Whew. I almost lost this there for a minute. That's alright. We're going to go ahead and make our jump to the Arcor area. And yeah. Let's see, where is my jump binking? Now, I haven't done salvaging before, so I don't know how lucrative it is. Apparently, you got to pay to do the mission or I guess you gotta pay to salvage which I guess makes sense where is my jump point oh it's that way uh, duh alright so we're gonna roll around this way there we go and we're gonna try to do some salvaging I got the um, I don't even know what you call it but the salvaging canister I got about 20 of those and then the salvaging attachment and of course everybody's favorite uh, tractor beam tool so I'm gonna just go ahead and jump away as we look at this beautiful view look at that that should be a thumbnail right there that's gorgeous y'all but anyway thanks you all for tuning in joining in and all those who have jumped over from my main channel to my simulator channel uh i appreciate you all's comments appreciate appreciate you all looking liking and subscribing please uh you know look forward to some more of my content check out some of my other channels at uh tuskegee 87 uh to see just some of my other content as well but we are going to jump into it and i will see you once we get to the salvage area so just a random thing that happened while i'm in the middle of traveling we still got 27 million miles to go kilometers rather uh i just got locked up twice while in quantum I didn't know that was possible didn't realize that was possible but based on the mechanics that I've heard of in the game I'm going to assume that I was flying near somebody's uh, shindig oh look my homie music man is on maybe he can join in with us uh, I uh, got locked on to while in quantum so I'm assuming that was an interdictor maybe like a cutlass or uh, whatever that other ship is that can pull people out of hyperdrive. Is that how that works? I don't know how it works, but I just got locked twice in two different areas But somebody drop a comment down below if y'all know what that's about But yeah, we're gonna get into it All right, ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls we have made it and I didn't forget you children of corn But we have made it to the area and now I guess we're just going to Fly straight toward it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, so let's see what we got going on here. It's going to take a while to get there. You got to watch out for all these asteroids. Some of them be on steroids. Got full power to shoot. We making our way downtown. Moving relatively not fast. What's this? 930? I can't read. 910 kilometers meters per second. Yeah. Alright. Start slowing down just a tad. I can't see the asteroids because of the. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, I should have brought something smaller. If I had the cutty, we'd be all right. But they took my cutty. So we got to use this. Oh, this ain't too bad though. It's pretty easy. I just don't run and run into something else. Somebody needs some help. Forty two thou. Yeah, it's relatively close. Y'all forget the sound in the background. Didn't quite know what that is right now. Y'all forgive me there. Alright, looks like I made it to the salvage area. Ha! So, we'll see what happens there. It looks like a little ship. It's an Aegis Eclipse. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if that's the stealth ship or not. Apparently to unlock all the you know higher or more lucrative jobs you have to do enough salvaging missions and, then and so how do you do a salvaging mission without a salvaging ship uh with the hand tool so they start you off with smaller uh you know smaller ships that are easier to salvage all right i'm a parker right there Get a little bit closer, like that song by Neo. Come closer, something like that. All right, get as close as we can. Try not to bump it. All right, that should be good right there. We'll hold her steady. All right. Let's see, do my helmet check. It is on indeed. Gotta move some of these canisters to my belt. Been having a lot of inventory issues here. So you know, really? So you can disable, I mean, you can, you can enable head tracking during FPS. Oh, really? Yeah, it's in the, the comms FOIP uh, okay. setting. I don't know and if so I by wanna... default it's set to disable. Oh, okay. I don't know honestly, I don't know if I wanna use head tracking to you know, aim and all that stuff. Cause like you have to hold your neck in that position and all that stuff too to get the good aim and all oh, that. Yeah. Like like it sounds cool in theory but in practicality. Like when I do uh, rock mining, I uh use my head tracking to look at it, but a lot of times I have to freeze the head tracker because you know you have to hold your neck in that position and it just isn't comfortable over time yeah. all right let's let this thing down see what happens here oh oh perfect. what's ads uh ain't down sight okay so that's when you want to disable uh no you want to well it's it, default it, it's, it's set to, to to disable by default oh okay yeah then i guess so okay Man, this salvage claim is so far away. I need to drive there. Let me see if... Oh, look at that. The game knows me too well already. Or, that may be the busted one. Alright, I'm gonna do something crazy. All right. Driving a ground vehicle in space and go. Yahoo. Oh, that's cool. I can still maneuver and stuff. Sweet. Uh-oh. Yeah, we might want to get out. We're floating away. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, that's hilarious. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you how you can My ship is floating away. Today's video is brought to you by Game Pass. With Game Pass, you can take control of your ship, reducing a tablet or film. You can try out some of the free pre-made shots. Yeah, that worked out exactly as I thought it was going to. Of course, we knew what was going to happen. Let's be real. But I do want my helmet. Uber IP, 
Oh, I can't see. Oh, I hate when it does. Let's, Let's go ahead and store it. Now, when you look at it here, you see the camera here, and we have the option. You might get the most. Oh, why does it look like that? I hate when it does that. Because you're also going to be spending. Also, you want to run a lower resolution just to um, to make it lighter on, um, on your system so you don't spend a lot of resources. You can see it, you will have a little asterisk next to them. Those are the ones that recommend. Still work? And so, depends on your insurance. Hmm. You can go down here to, um, to face FaceWrap, enable FaceWrap, which is FaceWrap, and you can see the desk. Once we've done that, we can calibrate the camera, which is what should work. If you are calibrated, it's going to open up this new interface. You can see that was material. And also that, uh, that this is the best thing. No, this ain't too bad. And it's like mining with less stress of breaking the uh, destroying your vehicle. So that was something else I was thinking about too. What's that? Do I really want to upgrade the freelancer to a Corsair? How much is a is a vulture? Uh, a grip. Alright, container is full. We are going to reload. Ooh, Canis is full already. I don't know if I brought enough. So, the reclaimer is a grip. Four hundred dollars or fifteen mil. Your mole is three fifteen dollars or five point one mil. The vulture, yeah. Oh, you can't even buy you. The vulture is one seventy five. How much in game? You can't buy it in game. You can't even buy it in game. No. Mm. My freelancer ain't no slouch. Only thing I gotta do is learn how to defend myself. With it. Right, because it's got some decent guns on it. You just right. gotta know how to maneuver it. Right. So the other thing is is that I guess I don't necessarily have to have I really would love to have a, a bigger bat you know, bigger ship I can walk through and all that kind of right. stuff. Right. But yeah. do I have do I need to do I need to get it now? I don't know. Or I could get keep my freelancer and get a nomad to use for my mining. Therefore it's not so such a big issue jumping in and out. Yeah. Well, I mean, a freelancer is good for mining anyway. It's not that, I don't think it's that big because you got a large open cargo area that's easier to drive in. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't spend money on another ship that to do the same thing that your ship you already have can do just as good and still allow you to multi-roll and run cargo. Yeah. But that car stairs sure looks sexy. Yeah, it do. Yes, you do. The thing is, a hundred dollars, I can almost get a vulture. Yeah, seventy-five more dollars. Mm-hmm. And then it makes SCUs for you, or it makes uh boxes for you. Yeah. And on top of that, what I could do is melt down my freelancer back down to a base freelancer. Mm -hmm. That'll free up forty dollars. Mm-hmm. To, to to put with the vulture mm, yeah and see the one thing that i think is good about mining or um um you know doing this versus uh mining is with mining you have to go back to a spot and hope that your rock don't blow up and hope all this other mess don't happen meanwhile have you looked at uh salvaging gameplay no, I haven't. I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the ore mining down first. But well, you know what I mean. Get it going to where I, I, I guess I start getting bored with it or complacent with it. Then I was gonna move on to salvaging. Oh, okay. 
What's the purpose of a bomber? If you like, uh, if you're doing a lot of PvP stuff, or if you're, uh, you know, going to an area that has a lot of NPCs, you just fly over and drop a bomb to clear out the area. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's if you're working with a big organization and y'all are doing like a big PvP thing. Mm -hmm. Here, tracking mm -hmm. an FPS. Is it working? Yeah. Let's see what happens. It's. Let's see here. It's a little wonky. It's a little something to get used to, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's not, uh, I need to maybe change the sensitivity of it. Mm hmm Hmm, kind of like it so far. Like I said, I gotta get used to it, but... Mm-hmm. And it's drifting on me. Oh, yeah, this is something you need a friend with. Really? Mm-hmm. At least when you're doing it with the hand tool. It's got a delay. I wish I could. How do you speed up the speed it up? Because it has a bad delay in it. Uh, it Maybe one of the options on uh, one of the bar options and settings. I'm not sure. All right, we are preparing to dock. All right. Sweet. It has been recovered. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Ooh, ooh. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Ooh. All right. That was close. I didn't think we was going to make it. Thought she was going to blow up. Maybe I can sell these scraps at, uh, Port little buddy over here. Beijing Pizzling. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, I'm a little nervous to let down my cargo door now. My uh, mule's over here sitting upside down on his back. Or he's sitting standing straight up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like it so, Connie. You get to walk around in it while it's in transit. And See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I like these big ships like this, because you can just, while you're flying across the universe trying to get somewhere, you don't have to be just stuck in the seat the whole time. My favorite part is getting in the turrets and just kind of looking around the ship. I ain't running vice today. Alright, let's go sell this mess, see how much uh, we can get for it. So who wants this recycled material? I gotta go to the TDD to sell these recycled material composites. And our core mm. pays the most for it. So I guess that works out. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Retrieve. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been Hand delivered. Sim. What in the world? Ah, oh, you have gotta be kidding me. Where is my ship? It's just gone. It ain't even here. Ah, beautiful. The elevator's still missing. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Oh my god, I can't retrieve it or store it. What is what this? Happened? I tried to claim, uh, try to, uh, you know, retrieve my ship, and I went down to the Hangar 7, because that's where it told me it was, and I get there, it ain't there. So then I come back up here to try to store it or do anything with it, and it don't give me any actions, and then I look at the info, and it's talking about it's trying to retrieve it. Oh, good, it finally mm. made it. Jeez, look My, me. it did that to me once, uh, the other day. Alright, let's try this again. There she blows. Bruh, I just took off. Oh my god, leave me alone. How many times are they gonna scan me? I was free to go before, I just didn't want to cross that. Don't leave without me. Who made it literally in the nick of time? Oh. Okay, that's cool. 
see how I'm doing too much cardio. <sighs> Alright, let's see how much we can sell this salvage for. Boy, this look service lord and molasses. 100%. I wish I could just sell all of these. That's it. Well, boys and girls, this server is slower than molasses. And all you get is $192 per container. And I got 10 of them, so that's basically $2,000. Yeah, is it worth it? Mm, no. Not really. Not unless you got friends. And you're just trying to kill time. But if you're trying to make money, mm, I don't know what to tell you. This may not be the way. Well, while we wait for that to load, run the outro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of the corn, that was interesting. Well, that was today's run with salvaging. Saw how it went, saw how much we got paid. 192 per canister. Maybe worth it if we get something like the Vulture or the Reclaimer, but that requires a lot of money to purchase. So... We may have to do some other things before we can make a lot of money with uh, salvaging. Like looking at these stock markets out here and see how much uh, vice goes for. But you know, I try to be an honorable man, you know, not do nothing crazy. But anyway, y'all know how it is. This is the Light Skin Summer HX 87. I'll catch y'all on the stars. Peace, I'm out.